what I'm trying to say is this. Do the best that you can. But the messenger was in the Masjid al-Nabawi with the Sahaba. You know the story very well, it's been said. And the messenger said, by the power of Allah, in whose hand my soul resides, any time from now, anybody that walks in the masjid belongs to the highest rim of Jannah. So the Sahaba were thinking, who? This is Abu Bakr is here, Umar is here, who else? All of a sudden, a young man, I mean, an old man just walked in. This old man, his clothes is tattered. You know, his, his whole body is unkept. He looked just ordinarily that you wouldn't even look at him. He's like a nothing among nothing. He just came and he sat down just like anybody. He was in the back of the, of the, you know, of the rank. The messenger was in the front. So they were looking at him. This young man, look, this old man, look at him. We do salat. We spend all the night doing our this and that. Okay. The third time, the second time, the messenger said the same thing and this man came in. So later, you know the story, the Sahaba went and asked him. One of them went and stayed with him to see what is it that he's done that warrant him to be in the highest stage of Jannah. So after three days, he told him, Frank, he said, look man, whatever I said that brought me to your house, uh, it's not true. I just want to find out what is it that you do that is so special that gave you the position of Jannah that the messenger have mentioned. He said, what you see is what you get. I don't do no special thing. I do my salat. Even nafila, I don't even have time to do nafila because I have so many things to do. I fast when it's time to fast. Just that's it. Even the two, you know, the weekly Monday and Thursday, I don't even have time to do because I'm always busy in my work and my family. I'm just busy. That's all. That's what you see is what you get. So he said, okay, but wait a minute. I never go to sleep without anybody in my heart. I make sure I scrape all the debt that is in my heart i forgive and forget i give general amnesty to anyone that offend me and i seek allah's protection and mercy for if i have protect i have sinned to somebody or i have done something wrong to him allah to forget me that's all the sahaba when they be thinking say subhanallah yet people waste their time astaghfirullah not wasting your time in the middle of the night astaghfirullah astaghfirullah allahumma this allahumma that you spend all this and at the same time you are the most dangerous person in the community. You causing a rift among the ranks and you don't forget and forgive. And yet you are expecting Allah to forgive you. Allah did not leave us alone like that.